Hey guys, welcome back. We are uh, currently in the 12W21A snapshot here. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of the cool new features that they've got. I've just I just enchanted this sword with sharpness and fire aspect. It was like a level 47. It was an awesome enchantment for that level. Um, because I was going to kill some some testificates to be testing with them, but then I discovered that I could make an easier way to kill them off, so, uh, I've made this little testing unit. You may or may not know that you can now trade with villagers, like this guy will buy books from me. Um, sometimes there are more than one thing that you can buy or sell from, to them or from them. I've only found one guy who does more than one thing so far. Uh, he was actually part of the just village spawn. I don't know where he... Oh, oh, yeah. Well, this guy does it too, apparently. Bottle of Enchanting. That's ridiculously awesome. You can buy Glowstone and Bottle of Enchanting from this guy. Which, personally, I'm excited about that. <laughs> because that means you don't need to go to the Nether to get a bunch of Glowstone. And Bottle of Enchanting you can't usually get in the game. Um, but, whoop. but you can see that these guys sell different things. I think this was the guy that I found earlier. Um, he, he can... Oh, no, get back here. Uh, this guy will either sell us a diamond axe or buy iron ingots. So, actually, that's interesting. About 80 iron would make up one diamond axe to this guy. I mean, the prices vary. Like, I've seen somewhere you can sell him, like, 8 books or 16 books. Um, it is... Oh, I was going to say it is based on their the color of their clothes. So, well, I think it mostly is. I've noticed that a lot of the white-robed guys, which spawn in the houses that have the books and stuff in them, they sell bookcases and, uh, yeah, in these houses. Which, actually, is there a guy stuck in here? No? He's just not there. How about in here? Come on. Uh, no. Nope. Alright, nothing good. Um, but, with my little testing thing, I did figure out that they seem to mostly be based on their profession. Um, these guys just seem to all be kind of, you know, doing their own thing, but the ones that I've spawned have all been pretty specific in what they buy or sell. Like, the guys in the white aprons seem to be some kind of armor smith, um, and or tailor, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, this guy will sell us book, or will buy, us, buy books from us, and this machine just, uh, <laughs> pumps them out one after the other. Oh, this guy will, uh, sell us a diamond pick. Oh, he was in a black apron. That's interesting. Uh, he'll just buy some paper. This guy will buy raw pork chops. I don't really understand what their aprons mean, because I would have assumed that this, because this is the guy who made the uh, or who will sell you a bunch of leather armor. So, I'm not really sure. But I believe these guys are farmers. The ones in the brownish robes. Um, there is a guy in a purple robe who will sell you all sorts of cool stuff, like, or... Let's see. What I've seen him do so far is he'll buy Ender Eyes or Rotten Flesh, but it was like 60 Rotten Flesh, and sell Redstone Dust. And I thought there was something else, too, but I don't really remember. This guy will sell you cooked steak... Um, this guy's an iron sword. Let's let's buy an iron sword. You can see you can just trade them like that. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you put them in one at a time, it doesn't work. And if you add more onto it, it it doesn't work. You have to actually put at least in, put at least eight in when you do it. There you go. No real reason for that, just because we can. Uh, let's sleep real quick. Make it daytime. I just put some stuff in my inventory that's common stuff that I've seen them want to buy so that I could... Well, the Ender Pearls aren't really common. I haven't gotten that guy a whole bunch. It was just like the one time, but... I wanted to have it in my inventory just in case. Because I want to sell something to somebody. I don't have any stuff these guys want. There is lava underneath there, by the way. That's how they're all dying. You can see that other guy went up in flame. Oh, yep. Here's the rotten flesh. This guy... Is the interest <clears throat> is the interesting guy? I've seen him uh, selling neat stuff, uh, you know, food. Big surprise there. They're a little uh, cheap <laughs> with their money. Like you saw one guy 
this guy will sell you three redstone dust for one emerald, uh, which is like, you know, a currency. And you can mine it. I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, this guy you can sell wheat to. He's a farmer. This guy's a blacksmith. Ooh, that's a neat guy to have. Uh, be able to just buy diamond chest plates. As far as I can tell, they don't change what they sell, but I don't really know. Um, Alright, if I don't get something that I have in my inventory soon, I'm just going to pick something from my inventory and sell it to that guy. Or just add something to my inventory and sell it to that guy. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you can get you can get chain armor from these guys too, which is interesting. Um, I would suggest that you kill off all of your villagers that don't sell interesting things, and then let them reproduce until you get more villagers that do. Uh, or if you don't like the value somebody has, you can just kill them. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some emeralds from that. Not a whole lot, obviously. But if you have a giant reed farm, you could make tons of money off of this guy. Alright, anyway, moving on. Let's get all that stuff out of our inventory. And there we go. There's a new item, which is a chest here. I'm just going to grab this stuff out of it. Um, you craft this chest by putting an, ender, an eye of ender surrounded by obsidian. And the neat thing about this chest is... Actually, I need a workbench, don't I? I do. Okay. Nope, that's not one. There we go. Uh, I don't remember if this was in previous snapshots or not, but they've got the half slabs for different colored wool now. Not stairs, just the half slabs. Which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well. You know, it's cooler than not having them. Okay, you go like this. Just to prove it to you, in case you don't believe me. Makes the ender chest. Now, let's say we put... Oh, cocoa beans changed the look of them, by the way. I just put those in my inventory just so I could say that. Um, oh, and there's sandstone stairs as well. Uh, and gravel changed its appearance. You can see it's a little bit different. And that was all jeb, I believe. I personally liked the old gravel. This one seems a little bit too cartoony for me, I guess. It does look nicer on the roads, but it doesn't look so much like gravel. Um, but anyway, so you can put that chest down there, and then come all the way over here for no reason at all. Let's put it next to these pumpkins. And there you go. And then I can take the gravel from here and come all the way back over here and see that this one's gone. So they are linked. They um, Every ender chest you put down has the same inventory. I don't know if you can... No, nope, apparently not. Oh, oopsies. Let's just fix that. Um, I, I, was, I was afraid to do it uh, off camera because I didn't actually have the the stuff in my inventory, and it's hard working in creative mode because you don't have access to your inventory. Like, you should be able to swap. Just, like, hit a button to swap back to your regular inventory. I'm not actually sure if destroying the last ender chest around will drop your stuff. Nope, it seems to just destroy it. Oh, but it's still there after. That's neat. And actually, um... Let's see if I can break this. Well, not easily. <laughs> um... Let's see if I can break it with a diamond pick. And we'll grab an iron one too, just so I can test it. That's not doing anything. And <laughs> that's not doing anything. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, you just can't see it. Alright, so it does take a while. Um, we've got obsidian particles coming off of this. Oh, okay, you can get it with an iron pick. Um, I would test it with a, uh, stone pick, but I'm not, oop, I'm not, uh, gonna make you guys sit around and watch me hack at it for a while, just to find out that it doesn't work. This is the emerald <laughs> ore texture right now, it's supposed to be green, he just forgot to switch it over. Um, presumably at some point they were planning on using rubies, I don't know. Uh... But yeah, so it's supposed to be green. This is an awfully weird texture, as far as I'm concerned. Like, it doesn't really blend in very well with all of the other... Oops, I didn't mean to grab... Some. I was hoping to put that all just in my inventory, but you know. You know how the game is. Um, I just grab a bunch of gold and then a bunch more gold. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's obviously a little bit different from all the other kinds. But it looks, it looks alright. I don't know. I'm just weird about... Minecraft stuff. Uh, let's see. Other new stuff. Dispensers. You can now... Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's use a water, block, a water bucket for this. 
Just so we don't ruin everything. And I don't know where water buckets are. Do ignore this part. Ignore it. Just ignore it. I've probably gone. I've definitely gone past it several times. There it is. Okay. Um. If you put a water bucket in, and oh, sorry, just give me some dirt. Do this. Water comes out. Which is neat, but there's really no way to get it back in. So, you know that's unfortunate. <laughs> um. I want to see if I can just like power to get. <gasps> Oh, you can! Neat! Okay, so that's really cool. <laughs> that makes, like, waterfall stuff a lot easier. You can change stuff with redstone. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't really know what happens if you put more than one in at a time. Let's find out. Oh, and you can stack, I think. Can you stack? No, maybe not. That was weird. Because uh, Captain Sparkles made a, a video where he stacked them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he had a mod on or something. Let's do this. Alright. Yeah, I just emptied out all the water buckets. Oh, you can stack these, but you can't stack water buckets. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty neat. You can put down a, a dispenser, put water in it, and then have it spit the water out, pick it back up. Works the same with lava. Or at least it spits lava out. I don't know if it picks it back up again. Let's try it. There's lava. And there it is. Alright, so there you go. Um, you can make your lava traps now. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much all... Where'd my butt... Oh, water washed it off. Right. I think that's pretty much all that I've seen so far. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. Um, there it's... Broke my... Redstone thingy. Um, there is one more thing that I have that I've actually kind of, like, ruined, but <laughs> while I was playing around with it. But let's go see if we can find it. It's kind of far away, so I'm going to just cut right here. And here it is. Uh, we've got pyramid things. This one is kind of buried. Uh, <laughs> I did dig out from the inside, and I w did go a little crazy with lava buckets on the inside trying to light it up. Um, this was just... Eh break. It's, it's also very dark in here if you come in and it's not, um... Ignore that real quick. <laughs> when you come in, it looks like this. Um... And I dug around looking for secret stuff, because if you look down here, there's actually a pit. At the bottom of this, there was... Uh, well... Kinda like... This... But in these walls, there were indents. Like so. And we had... Chests all around that had some neat stuff in them. Some of them just had uh, rotten flesh and bones, while others had... One had four diamonds in it. One had some gold and iron, and... I don't remember what the other one had, but I think that's pretty much all that drops from them. And there was a pressure plate right here, and a good deal of TNT underneath it. <laughs> um, it's just 9 TNT, just directly underneath these blocks here, but as you can see, it makes a pretty big hole, so you don't really want to fall in that. Um, but yeah, so that's supposed, I think that's supposed to be like, you know, the Pharaoh's Tombs kind of thing, because one had bones and rotten flesh in it, specifically. It's a little neat area, that actually was just me breaking out of there. <laughs> um, all of this was like that. And I don't think I broke this. I definitely broke that one. And actually, it might have gone like that. I'm not really sure. Oh, that, that right there is just from the edge of the... Well, then what's this? Well, I guess it's just the same thing. This is just because the pyramid's sloping down, so it goes down like that. It does get very dark in here, which again is why I poured lava everywhere. Um, there are entrances on the sides. There's little staircase things here. I'm surprised that lava didn't catch the wall on fire. Um, there were... Actually, that's odd. I just noticed that... Um, I was digging down in here to see if I could find stuff, and there was a stair block here. Like this. I think. Yeah. That's how it went. But this is a really weird room. I don't know why it spawned like that. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm going crazy and that's not actually what it looked like. That was all me. Ignore it. <laughs> it's building with stairs. Oh yeah, see look it happened here. Yeah, it must have been like that. Because I just dug straight down the middle. I came in from the top. And apparently I dropped some gold on the ground. Oh, yeah, this is all the loot from the thing. Here, let's pick it up. I was throwing it away while I was run while I was flying off to um to find the village. Oh, I might have just trashed the rest of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was some uh, <laughs> some loot in there. And so, let's see, this hole up here isn't there when you find it. Uh, the hole up on top of this one is. So you can just come in here, and again, that's like that. This is just a big hole here. I don't really know what the second floor is for. Maybe just an entrance, because sometimes, apparently, the front half is covered up like this is. Um, this is all pretty much exactly how I found it, with the exception of that. Um, so, you know, that's pretty neat. I remember... Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. I thought that was... No! Here we go. I thought that was something else. Um, I did see a picture on the Mojang site of a village, but it appeared to be in a desert with buildings made of sandstone. And if that's the case, then that's awesome. If not, then it'd be really cool if they added it. I came from way over there, so I'm not even going to bother flying back. But anyway, see, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all that cool stuff because uh, I'm pretty excited for it, particularly the trading with the villagers thing, because that means you can just keep like growing your your village and then kill off all the ones that have bad deals or don't sell you stuff you want and uh, or don't buy stuff that you have a lot of. And you can just like make a little money farm, emerald farm, by selling to villagers what you have a lot of and then buying what you don't have a lot of, like diamond stuff or... Um, ender, uh, I don't, again, I don't actually know if they sell ender eyes or not. I just know that you can buy them from them, or you can sell them to them. Uh, but I'm going to do a little bit more research into that and see if anything important shows up in my findings. But uh, until then, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.